What virus do you think is the leading cause of liver disease in the United States? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. HIV. HIV? HIV. AIDS? Wow. Um, I actually have no idea, to be really honest. <laughs> I would have to guess complications due to HIV. It's actually not. If we're talking about hepatitis C, hepatitis C actually affects about four times more people than HIV affects, and it's the most common bloodborne infectious disease in the United States. Really? Hepatitis C is one of the greatest public health threats we face today, but few people know much, if anything, about it. My name is Francisco Ramirez, and in the next few minutes, we'll take a closer look at hepatitis C, what it is, what causes it, what you can do to avoid getting infected, and what you should do if you think you are infected. What is hepatitis C, also known as hep C or HCV? Well, to start, let's look at the word hepatitis. It's a combination of Greek words that simply means inflammation of the liver. The liver is the largest internal organ of the body. In an adult, it's about the size of a football and weighs about three pounds. The liver performs some highly important functions. It filters our blood, straining out toxins. These toxins include harmful chemicals found in cigarette smoke, pesticides, air pollution, drugs, and alcohol. The liver does many other things. It helps our bodies fight infections. It secretes bile, which helps us digest food. It stores vitamins. It stores energy in the form of a sugar called glycogen. Listen to Marvin Chinitz, a doctor who specializes in liver diseases. The liver is a very important organ in the body. Without it, we can't live. It has over 500 vital functions to the body. When hepatitis damages the liver, it can't perform these functions as well. There are different kinds of hepatitis and it can be caused by several things. Alcoholic hepatitis is liver inflammation caused by drinking too much alcohol over many years. But most types of hepatitis are caused by viruses. And this is where the C in hepatitis C comes in. There are several kinds of viral hepatitis that we know of. Hepatitis A, B, and C are the most common. Each is caused by a different virus. Hepatitis A eventually goes away on its own with no serious long-term damage. Hepatitis B is more serious, but most young people today have been vaccinated against both hepatitis A and B, so they aren't at risk for these kinds of hepatitis. But there is no vaccine against the virus that causes hepatitis C. 